Howdy, howdy, Java this year. And let's learn about reward schedules in Revit. Reward schedules are great documentation for our construction drawings in the uh, site, and it will help uh, contractor and other site people to construct their rewards very easily. We have two ways to create reward schedules in Revit: manual way or Revit way, or uh, we can do it with a plugin or automatic way we can say you can use the time chapters in the description to access each of these it depends on your Revit version first of all let's uh, first let's create uh, reward, sch reward schedules with Revit way to do that you need to go to the view tab and then click on a schedule and a schedule quantities and let's select the structural reward right in here click on OK and we need some uh, different parameters in here for example we need a b c and d and then we need family and type let's bring family and type up and i don't need the hook right now we need shape too and another parameter that I want to use is shape image. I will talk about the shape image later. Let's bring the shape image down in here. And I think this is great. Or you can add total bar length and or bar length too. For example, let's add total bar length. And also you can create another uh, calculated and combined parameter for uh, rebar weight too from the volume of it. If you want to or the length of it if you want to know about the calculated parameters i have a video that i will put the link in here you can go and watch that too to be able to create calculated parameters to be able to calculate the river way too but let's back uh, let's go back to the tutorial and that's great and these are the parameters that i need click on ok and now we have all of the rebars we have in our project and also I want the partition so click on the field and let's bring the partition in partition and let's add it to here click on OK and now we have the partition but let's bring the partition up and now let's ca uh, let's categorize and let's sort our schedule according to the partitions let's go to the fields and let's go to the sorting and grouping let's sort it by partition in here and let's add a header in here and we don't want to itemize every instance i want to itemize every instance click on ok and then we have beam in here i want the i want only the beam schedule so let's go to the filter and let's create a filter for partition name and let's put it equal to beam click on ok and now we only have the beam and we can hide the hide the partition uh, column 2 to have a better one if you don't have any shape image when you bring it into the sheets let's create a sheet in here If you don't have any shriver shape when you bring the schedule to the sheet this part will be empty let me let's make this one a little bit bigger and also let's make it a little bigger if you wouldn't have any uh, shape image and the shape image part would be empty you wouldn't see anything like this and this is not uh, this is the thing that we want and if you don't have it it's not really that useful and also we need to uh, ch uncheck the itemize every instance in here let me let's go to the fields and let's go to the sorting and grouping click on sort itemize every instance and uncheck it and now we can't have it right now in here let's go to the schedule again let's create another sort in for this and let's put it on shape and let's click on itemize every instance to see the result or we need to sort it and group it by shape not the partition and click on okay and now we are good to go and this is the thing that we want and even you can uh, if you want you can uh, 
uncheck the header don't have these headers let's uncheck the headers too from here uncheck the headers and let's go back to the schedule and this is the schedule that we want but how we can add these uh, shape images to our uh, schedule to do that you need to select one of these uh, rebars for example and you need to click on highlight in model and click on show until it's showing the right image to you and then go to the edit family and in the edit family click on family types and in here we have a shape image then I specify an image for it but how you can find this image I will put a link in the description you can download it it contains different image for each rebar shape that you have in Revit you can use it according to each family and this is better way, this is a optimized way because you do it once and after that uh, for your next projects they will be exactly like this and you don't need to do this process again so that was for the manual way and that was easy wasn't it but let's go to the second way but before going to the second way if this video has been helpful please don't forget to like this video to help me to reach this video to more people okay let's go back to the tutorial but we have as i said we have another way which is automatic way to use automatic way you need to install an add-in from the revit store or this website and that is optimal then uh, before doing anything in this plugin you need to go to the go to your model and you need to uh, specify the partition for the rebars for example we can say uh, we can right click on one of them and we can select all rebar in host and then put the partition on the thing that you want for example let's call it test bin and click on ok after assigning your partitions then go to the adding tab and optibeam and rebar schedule and in here select the partitions or partition you want to create a schedule for it and then you have some settings in here schedule number sheet number construction part and those obvious things and in here you can change the language too and you can change the project name and those things you can specify the engineer and contractor you can go to the rebar setting and you can uh, uh, specify the weight of it too and in here we have a really uh, important setting and which is open uh, the formats that you want to be saved for example i don't want to open the words file after it and i just want to have pdf and word click on save setting let's go back and in here let's specify the destination of our file that we want and our files let's click on for example drive e click on ok click on ok and you need to wait a little bit now when you go to the place of uh, you've specified you can see the schedule and even you can edit it in word and it is really great and shout out to the OptiBeam developers for this great thing and great plugin and even you have the uh, PDF file too. Another tip in here and another thing that you need to know if you want to put them in your sheet in uh, in uh, Revit sheets for example let's go to the sheets in here in here you have some legend views for the rebars that you made for example test beam it will create a legend view and you can bring the legend view for your uh, Revit sheets too and for example let's put it on no title and now you can see the rebar schedule in here too and you can change the scale to have it in different scale so it's not that hard let's inactive this one and let's delete one and now we have our rebar schedule automatically i hope this video has been helpful for you if it was please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends I have another video about uh, calculating the uh, net volume for concrete in Revit. So make sure to check it and I will put the link in here. I will see you on the next session.